Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, I'm gonna walk you through this uh, weapon duplication glitch, and this will also transfer the effects of one bow onto another. You see, I got the Royal Guard bow, which is normally a one-shot bow. I wanted to increase it to five shots. We're gonna show you how to do that as long as you have a five-shot burst bow in your inventory. If you got a three-shot bow, you can use the three-shot bow, but the idea is you're gonna transfer the effects from one bow to another. Now, I spent the last few hours trying to lock down this glitch, and I wanna help prevent you guys from wasting as much time as I did. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you create a save right here so we're just going to save the game the bow that you want to upgrade you're going to put on the ground you see i have this royal guards bow and it's a single shot but we're going to put that one on the ground and then you're going to go max distance for fusing so you'll just uh, set up your fuse and then walk up until you see it connect when you see it connect like that this is where i had the most trouble this next step here because i was pressing l and zl too quickly there's an indicator which i'm going to show you guys when pressing zl is not going to be as fast as we're used to you're going to just tap tap if you've done this right so far you'll see that you're able to pop the menu back up and then you're going to mash left on the d-pad so that you're able to bring up your shields hopefully i'm not too late in mentioning this but you should have two shields that do not have anything fused to them right next to the shield on the right you should see a light source that little round white light source is like yellow and white well that's an indicator that you performed the glitch properly so the next step we're going to do is slide on over to the next shield to the left and then let go of everything now you've duplicated the bow. This is the dupe bow right here. And when you check your inventory, you should see that you also have a duped bow here. Now we can move on over to our next step. I'm going to pick up this bow. We don't need this bow, but I'm going to move on over to our next step here. We're going to talk to Pelican so he can break down the fused shield and arrow. We'll tell him break it down. We'll select the fused shield and arrow. Tell him go ahead. So now you have another bow with another shield there. We'll stand right by our shield and we want to make sure we maintain this position here. So just stand right here and pick up your shield then you're going to drop the bow that you want to transfer the effects of so if you want five shots on a royal guard bow which is normally one shot which is what we got down there what we're going to do is drop the effect that we want so we want this five uh five shot arrow right here we're gonna drop this we only have one royal guards bow with five shots right now and you see we got the standard dupe one that we picked up and we just dropped the five shot effect mighty lionel bow so we'll back out and then when we pick this bow back up the duped version of our bow is now at five shots you see now we got two royal guard bows with five shots on them this one on the ground here still only has one shot you guys decide if you want to keep that i have one up on the mantle at link's house so i always have one on reserve just in case but when we go into our bows now i want you guys to understand that right now as it stands with the royal guard bow with five shot bursts each time you take a shot you're dealing 250 the damage and then if you consider fusing items like the white main lionel mace horn or even better items that i'm sure you guys got out there with a plus 40 fuse attack power multiply 40 times 5 that's 200 plus the 250 that you already have from the standard bow alone not to mention which armor you have on for multipliers and the way you could get food to increase your attack power i'm sure the possibilities are endless to get the max amount of damage per shot hopefully this video I hope save you guys some time. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please consider subscribing to All City 2 for a bunch more of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom tips, tricks, and walkthroughs. I'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream. Easy, y'all. Yeah?